Okay. Hello everyone, we're Riga Robin Pimsy Play, and we are reacting to Nintendo's new way to play video slash direct slash whatever this is, because we have no idea. Um, as you can see on the screen, it says tune in to discover a new interactive experience for Nintendo Switch that's specially crafted for kids and those who are kids at heart. Hopefully this is something to do with Animal Crossing, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I really hope so. Um, or maybe it's going to be like a kid-friendly version of the Nintendo Switch, like what they did with the 2DS. I doubt they'll do that less than a year after releasing why, why Nintendo Switch. Why wouldn't they? Switch. The Nintendo Switch has been incredibly successful. Um, They're going to keep on that hype. Yeah. What do you maybe. predict? I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. Um, some people have predicted it'll be a new peripheral. So, you know... Like, or maybe it's um, like... Um, a new uh, virtual reality thing. I don't think it will be though. You don't think? Um, I don't make it. Less You're than not full giving screen. me any. Oh. I'm just making it less than full screen so I can refresh it. Oh okay. Because it, it didn't sense. seem like it did before. It says tune in. It's gone 10 p.m. UK time. Unless it's late. Uh, it might be late. I don't know. Tune in to discover a new experience. Streaming. Uh, we'll change the thing to talk shows. <laughs> because that, that's, it's an actual category they have. <laughs> and Rumors is like, oh, you're watching a Nintendo stream on the PS4. Well, it was easier than setting up the Switch again. Um, and to be honest, As I think Rob this would work better. Couldn't be bothered. No, it, it was not enough time, really. But... Um, uh, Zazpoo's asking for new software for version 5.0. Maybe it'll be a new way to chat. Uh, Anna says it might be a way to have friends lists or something. Club Penguin for uh, Nintendo. Candy Lover says happy 500 subs. Ah, thank, thank you, Candy. All right, let's refresh. I think you're fine. Come oh. on. What? Um... What are you doing? I'm refreshing the page to see what's supposed to be here, but it doesn't seem like anything is here. Is it supposed to play or something? Well, I, I would have thought... It says that... tune in, though. It doesn't thought... say here. I, yeah, but I would have thought it would have a link to the thing if it says tune in. Are we doing this wrong? Check, Check YouTube. YouTube. Okay. Um, let's open up a new tab then. Oh, have you fucked up? Well, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully not. Uh-oh. All right. Nintendo... Quick, 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 quick. UK. Uh, Nintendo UK. Come on. Are they streaming? That's, yeah, the, no, it's there, that, there, there, that's there. the Nintendo oh, Direct Mini. Can. We've already seen that, though. Where is it, then? I don't know. Let's refresh. We've been dumb. Well, no, it says 10pm UK. T it's on YouTube. Whereabouts on YouTube? Alright, let's refresh this one. Check Nintendo's YouTube. Oh, Nintendo's YouTube. Oh, of oh, course, we got went to UK. Why did you do that? I don't know. Uh, Hurry up! Uh, no! Not been there, Nintendo. Nintendo, top. Fuck's sake. Peggy 18. Quick! Go! Search! You didn't even do it, did you? It. What? It Click should've... it! We well, didn't! I... For fuck's sake, Rob, quick! Calm down, Jesus. Ah! One quick presentation right. packed with news on some right. Nintendo Go. games. Search. This year. Let's get I don't on. want to listen to the Nintendo Direct Mini. We've already Shut seen that. Shut up! Uh, First look at Nintendo Labo. What is that? I have no play idea. Play it, play it, play it. Oh, I want to see this. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. there it is, there it is. It's uh, only two minutes long. It'd be funny if it Nintendo Labo. Oh, is this a new amiibo? This is going to be like a, um amiibo crafting. Like Lego, but amiibo. That's, that's totally what it's going to be. That's so cheap. That's not cheap. That's amazing. Because they've done Amiibo cereal. And it's basically just a cardboard box with an FC chip. But this is how you make it yourself. So you can make Amiibo. Well, I don't know if it will be Amiibo as such. But it's like a playset. Oh, yeah. What? What is this? <gasps> no way. Shut up. What? 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 Shut up. 
What is that? How is the Nintendo Switch reacting with... Oh! Oh! So this is like getting all the Wii peripherals, but you make them yourself. It's a cardboard How? version of them. How? How do they do that? Is there mechanics in the cardboard? <gasps> Sewing? Piano? I just want to get one and rip it apart to figure it out. That's... Ooh, that's the touchscreen as well. Because they barely use the touchscreen at the moment. You're controlling the thing there. Ha! Magic! It, oh, Magic! I, I, ah. he's, he's got a, a headset on. He's... Oh, that's Gi Project Giant Robot! Ha! <laughs> right. They brought it back. I... I... How did what? they... What is... Okay, so this is clearly a different way of playing that is not video game related. This is amazing. This is all about... That is Project Giant Robot. This Nobody is so can tell tactile. Me otherwise. Touch screen again. This what? is fucking amazing. There's like elastic bands and stuff in there. Oh yeah. And you Don't can... shut up. Don't tell me that. I'll put it in the game. Put what in the game? Oh, I thought it was going to customise it in-game if you coloured it in. No. Wow. That this actually, is, like... This is the most innovative thing Nintendo have ever come up with. 20th of April. This is definitely the most innovative oh, thing. Oh, look, look. There's a variety kit and a robot kit. All right. Okay, so it's a video, so we can rewind it. Do you agree? This is an, this is the most innovative thing that Nintendo right, let's, ever let's, come up let's with. Let's go replay. And this is amazing. So it obviously you get like packs of these cards. Yeah, but let's have things. a look at it when it's actually. Well, that is not really. No, no, no. But it'll... when it gets printed out, it'll be like folded into each other. There's got to be circuit boards on that. Uh, Anna's suggesting that this is printed electronics. It's got to be. It can't just be cardboard. Yeah. Because it, it has to have a it connection. Work. But it, it looks just cardboard at that point. Oh, oh. hello. Uh, is it just cardboard? Yellow Bar is now following us on Twitch. Thank you very much. One of us, one of us. One of us. Uh, Yami Matoshi's joined us on Twitch. It's, there's got to be electronics in that. It wouldn't. It, it wouldn't react otherwise. Well, it's got HD rumble. Remember, so that's the main thing they've. Yeah. Like, how the fuck do you explain on. that then? I don't know. Yeah, you can't. You can't fucking explain it. It was right. from a okay, flat okay. sheet of card. So we've There's got... got to be electronics in that. That's like a little robot thing. Okay. That'll move Piano, when Piano, which is amazing. Rumbles. That is the fishing rod, isn't it? Uh, No. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's the um motorbike handle. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Well, then you, you must have triggers for the elastic bands. Like, that's got... That's the fishing rod. Fishing wire. Well, it's string, but effectively fishing wire. But the, the wire wasn't moving there, was it? Mm. But you can twist the cardboard, you can slot things into it. And I like the little pop now. So that's like a... That's for a robot, that's a controller for it's a, a robot. But it's like the, the, the control thing you get. Like, um, what's it called? What, like Robot Wars? No, the, the controller stand that you get with a switch, which which you slot the Joy-Cons into. That's what oh, that's like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I know like following the rails of it. So, okay, so we've got that. That's like a, a sewing machine. And you slot the controller into the top. <gasps> no, that is a pedal for a car. It's, it's uh, it could be, yeah. Um, it could be a sewing machine, you're right. I don't think they would do a sewing machine game. Okay, so that's the so basically there's going to be a new mini Look, game that does plug, fishing. You plug the, the wire, wire into, into the, the screen. No, into the box. But into you the put box. The box in the. Right. Okay. Uh, Can you just... imagine doing this in fucking public? <laughs> You're not going to do this in public, are you? Can you imagine sitting there with a fishing rod and again, people would be looking at you like, this what is are this they is doing? what you'd set up for kids. Like, hey, I want to do a bit of fishing, so you try and do this. <laughs> you drop it in, in the bathtub. And the right, that's the like. motorbike one. And the spill screens... your drink on it and the whole thing. No. <laughs> Um, Anna suggested that the cameras are watching behind the keyboard panels and the rise behind the screen when you press the keys. No, but it's. Well, look at that. So, 
The controller has... The Joy-Con has HD rumble, so that's what's making that how, move. How the fuck is it moving? HD rumble. So basically, the controllers are shaking, so that it moves on its legs. Got it. So that's why it's the way there's, it is. There's got to be electronics in this cardboard. I don't think it's there is. It's magic. It's magic. That's the image. And you're using the touch screen to control which direction the thing goes. Um, and that there's a game there. Okay. There's like a, a play dollhouse kind of thing. And that knocked him to the side. Ah, it oh, puts a tap in. Ah. So that's... What is that? How does he move the legs? Watch. Touch watch. and Fucking vibrate. Play it. play it and watch his legs. Right. So look on the screen. It says touch and vibrate. Touch on the left, vibrate on the right. So he's going to press touch now. And that's spreading the legs apart. How? Then, so that's... He's... So there's a left foot there. So this is the robot kit because this it's gonna is amazing. Be... This is basically an integrated virtual reality. Uh, well, it is. It's motion responsive so virtual reality. The screen's gonna be in front of your eyes, right? I yeah. think that's the way that works. And yeah. you've got a Joy-Con on the side of your head and, and a Joy-Con on the back. But it's also linked to your feet. Is there, yeah, are they it's, extra? It's got, tr no, they're not. Extra it's got tr strings okay. connected to the feet. Okay. Imagine playing Call of <gasps> Skyrim. Imagine uh, playing Skyrim like that. Rima says oh. you can also press the star keys to move frame by frame. I don't think I can do that on the PS4 controller. Yeah, we don't have star keys. Well, you do if you plug in your thingy. But you oh, don't. yeah, sorry. So this is Project Giant Robot. This is the thing that Miyamoto was supposed to get working for the Wii U, and he never did. And he was it, supposed to, is like... Is it the one that died? No, Miyamoto is still alive. He's the American the, one. No, he's the famous creator of Mario. Get off that. That is um, the Wii U. Off. Get off so, my feet. Stop, stop it. it. Stop what it. are you doing? Jeez. Get off. Um, Boy. Left and right on the D-pad. No. Leave that. Why are you obsessed with the Wii U? It's a Wii... What is he? Is there something underneath it? Yeah, that's, that's what it wants. Off the Wii U. Well, this off. is... This oh, is Project Giant it. Robot. Oh, okay, this is... Go. Good the idea, but they changed it to not use the gamepad and instead use the Joy-Cons. That's really that interesting. That makes more sense. Can you imagine doing this with the Wii U? But there's also a TV screen there. So, this, so the screen's not going to be in front of your eyes then, if he's got a TV there. Okay, and then we've got like a... Colour game? No, this is the piano. What's colours? It could be colours. It is colours, you can see. It's well, why is there... There's a record on the... Play and pause. It's a typewriter. No, it's the keyboard. Make. So you create the card. There's no. There's, there's, there's nothing electronic in it. Insert the tabs into the slot, starting with the biggest one. So it's got instructions on how to make the, the boxes. Okay. Like that. There you go. Um... They look quite easy instructions as well. Yeah. Well, it. You know, that. If it's meant for kids, you can't have really hard instructions. Can you? Well. Uh, Zazaku says this is VR Switch. Yeah. And that tells you how to say it's a perfect fit. Okay. Play. Look at that. It's like a... An eagle. It's like... Stop messing about with the head, with it's the like microphone. It's like origami Naughty. almost, but not quite. Origami look Switch. At that. Oh, I've just realised. What? It's a Joy-Con. The, yeah. the red Joy-Con is the beak. Right. I, I didn't make you that did, connection. You didn't cut none there, did you not? Um, Anna says, this is pretty smart, but it's all using the camera on the Switch and the rumble and motion sensors. Yeah, it might be. Do you know what? It's a really clever way of using it, if that's the case. I thought it was magic, so this is, it says a lot. This is like a, a racing feature. You're going to turn off the TV? So like you, you? like you said, Hello. Pimsy, um, mm -hmm. the right foot is a pedal, which is where the Joy-Con's in, and then yeah, the left Joy-Con's going to be in the wheel. I thought it was a car. Um, uh, Yami Matoshi says, I decided to join you guys and be one of you. You guys are awesome. Thank oh, you. Oh, you cutie you pie. Welcome. That's, what is that? That's like a... a... Now you will never leave. Oh, you know what that's going to be? What? Pokemon Snap. Because it's a camera. You're going to point the Joy-Con at the screen and it's going to show up on the TV. Do you think? That would make perfect sense though, wouldn't it? Like having a real life Pokemon Snap game. Because you're not using... Well, actually, to be fair, that could have the screen in the back of it. So you're looking at the screen... Stop. Hang on. You're Go thinking on. too small. 
this, too small. Yeah, because a camera could be pretty much... I can name several games that use cameras. What, as like a physical camera that you play in the game? Yeah, you could have it as an optional add-on, couldn't you? Well, this is, this is the point. This is not an optional add-on. You've already got a Switch. All you need to do is make the cardboard. I don't think there's any electronics in the cardboard. I think you can print off all of these things on your own at home and so, just attach stuff as you need it. People could potentially just, in theory, buy one, scan it in, and send it to everybody. Um, is that what you're getting at? Maybe, I don't know. But no, I can definitely see Pokemon Snap happening because of that. It makes perfect sense. I could see it as that, like a telescope what was that? feature. That was like a... No, check it. What? Zelda, the telescope feature. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Zooming in. Um, this one looks like it's kind of like a super scope. <gasps> like a Imagine gun. if they do another archery game like with Link, with a maybe. bow and arrow. That would be so that cool. That is, what, a submarine, probably? If he's moving both sides of it. And then this is Giant Robot again. Transformers in disguise. Uh, people are going to pirate these designs for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. There, there's your archery. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So, oh, a gun. So, you could do a gun game yeah, as well. Yeah, well, the gun we saw before, but that is definitely Did we the see archery a gun? thing. I, didn't, I don't remember a gun. Well, um, don't go back. There's no point. Let's see. Oh, I can do. I can do five seconds at a time. No, don't bother. Don't bother. Don't bother. Well, it's oh. too bad I've already done it now. Why would you do that? Because I did. Don't do it. Alright, so that's the bird. That's the car, camera, gun. Oh, that was the gun. Submarine. Robot. That's archery. Archery. Oh, sorry. That's drum kit? Guitar hero. Yeah. <gasps> Guitar hero. Looks like a drum kit, possibly. Oh. Uh, what is this? That's, <laughs> that's, that's a joy that, con. That's, no, that's pouring beer. No, it's not. It's a. Oh, a joystick. Control. Oh, it's a joystick. Okay. But how? Do, oh, I guess it must be like corrugated cardboard then to sort of get the motion. Okay. I can show you how to do origami. And then one. that's the inside of the the keyboard. So try for, for kisses. Uh, there's different checks for the infrared cameras. So yep, Anna's right. It's all based on the cameras. Mm. Um, <laughs> RFC super cheap. These will probably cost seventy five cents to make and sell for fifteen dollars each. And there's your kids playing. How d how would they get like the motion? It's there? a pulley system. Yeah, but so it's a pulley system. That's it. But you'd have to attach all that yourself. Yeah, but they have detailed instructions on the Wii uh, on the Switch. Well, I guess if it's all elastic bands, that could work. Until the elastic band breaks, yeah. and then the kids go nuts. Huh. And then you can't get an elastic band the same side. Oh, they've got washi tape and stuff. You can customise it any colour you want. You can put tape in it because it's only cardboard. You can paint it. All different doll houses. So let's have a look. We've got... Uh, oh, it's kind of hard to tell actually from this far away, but... Nintendo Labo. Wow. That's really interesting. 20th of April. Alright, so we I got... I love it. I love it. I think variety it's kit. By the looks of things, yeah. the better kit to get is, is the variety. probably the, the variety. It yeah. doesn't seem to be that you can get them individually, which makes sense from a monetary uh, point Nintendo of view. Switch system required multiple systems and kits shown, each to be sold separately. Customization accessories not included. So that's the colouring, the tape. Final product like designs that. may vary from images shown. Right, okay. Interesting, interesting. Watch this be higher than the Pro Controller, two hundred dollars. No, they they can't do that because nobody would it's get them. It's cardboard. They can't um, sell cardboard. Anna says these are gonna break so easily as well. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, they will be. They um, can't. They'll sell make them for a expensive. killing on it though. They will because they're for kids, and you can you can get a lot of money from kids. Stop playing with the bubble wrap. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, they improve it. Uh, Sakara says they improvised it in a critical way of thinking to use it easily. They they improvised it with a clear target audience. It's the first time I can honestly say that I can think uh, of. I like the way they've that called Nintendo it. Nintendo have really thought about the audience apart from yeah. the 2DS. Yeah. Look at what they're called. Well, toy Con. Like Joy Con. Like Joy Con. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's a very good. 
Alright, I do think there? that having con in the name is a bit ironic, but... Labo you know, don't intend Not okay. gonna get into that, are we? Huh. Well, that is an interesting thing. Wow. That, that's really different. There are, I can't but, think of a single a single game company that is a digital game company. Yeah. PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. Can't think of a single one that does anything as tactile as that. They don't. That's the point. It's like, who makes Amiibos? It's uh, bringing the game off the screen. Skylanders and Disney Infinity, but Skylanders and Disney Infinity don't tend to make them anymore, so Nintendo make Amiibo. No one is doing that. Especially not for this target audience. This is the most tactile and it's like bringing a game out of the TV. I think it's really good. It's it's making games more playful. Mm-hmm. I know that games are to play, but it it is playing with it. Yeah, and that's why they said this is aimed at kids and those who I don't are ch- give a fuck who are saying that. Heart. I'm buying it. Well, that's the thing. Anna might say that they could sell a stack of them for about forty dollars. I think that they will charge five pounds per Pack. thing. No, per thing. Per thing in the pack. Yeah, apart from the robot, which I think would be 20. Now, that obviously is me not knowing the market. Yeah. Maybe the robot would be 30. I don't think there is a market around this. Go back to the thing where it shows the actual products. The packs. I know, it's just going to have to go through this again. But, yeah, it's like... This is Did not something anybody's it? done. Is this... No, it's going to come up in a minute. There you go. Right. So, so one, how many two, are in that? Three, six. four, five, six on the front thing. Thirty, thirty. Thirty. What? Thirty, thirty. Then. Five oh, you think both are going to be thirty? I don't know. Right. See why not. Okay. Thirty pounds. That is not thirty dollars. Yeah. Because that'd be twenty think... pounds. Yeah, thirty pounds. And it looks like they've got what's this? It's like a little instruction guide. I think that might be this the um, installation guide. Hmm. Maybe. Um. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Uh, Rima says, I'd rather buy games. But that I think that's the point, is that... This is a game. You would have these games included, like... Oh, uh, the games are included. Now we're doubling the price. Well, I don't know if the games... Like, you need to have the games to do the cardboard. It otherwise feels like there's it's no only point. a mini-game, though. But if you're aiming this at... Well, that, these say are Say a target games. audience of five years old. Because I think this would be perfect for five-year-olds. Yeah. This so let's say, would work really well. Let's say this is mini-game. 30 pounds. That would be, what, five pound per... Yeah, but look at it this way. For kids game? that age, how long do you want them to be staring at a screen for? At most, 30 minutes. These mm. games are probably going to be 30-minute long games. Mm. Um, Anna says it's coming up the day before my birthday. Huh. Nice. It probably comes with a game car. It's probably going to be more like $50. I think $50 is ambitious. I think, I think it's 30 quid without the game. So I think it's 60 quid, which is about $75. No, I think this will be... Do you want to put money on it? Well, we could, but I think this will be $40 for the cardboard no. and you get the games as like a download to go with them digitally because no. without the download, you don't actually have a way to set this up. I don't think because it's these well. these boxes are not like normal. Oh, no, that's what this is. This what? is the game cart. That's the case. Oh, okay. Because the Nintendo case, Nintendo Switch cases for the game carts are like tall and thin now. I need so to that's sneeze. what that is. I'm really sorry. That's alright. Is it coming? Sneeze <laughs> stream. Sorry guys. There you go. Um, basically, I think you're talking out your ass because um, a basic Switch game is forty dollars. This comes with stuff. That's why um, I think you're talking um, about seventy. Sorry, not even forty dollars. Sorry, forty quid. $50. 40 quid. No. Uh, 40, uh, 40 quid is $60 in US. So. Um, Nintendo won't sell this for more than $59 because that's the price ceiling in the US. Yeah, I think. Is it? $60 and £40 is the maximum this will go for. Do you think that one's going to be cheaper than that one? I don't know. I think this one will have more of a featured game because there's only one in there, but there's five. So that's a bigger game. There's five in this. That's a... Yeah. They're sm- they're mini games and that's a that's a main game. Yeah. Got you. Um we've got Fruit Nut on YouTube that says um it's on the website, Nintendo website. Um 
It's literally about $80 for cardboard. I'm pissed to be honest, they are messing up the Switch slowly. I'm not sure if this was to show off the motion controlling for future games like Mario Tennis. It's not on... Is it actually on the Nintendo site, then? Well, let's, let's have, have a look. look. Well, we, we just need to go to the, the labo.nintendo.com. No, no, hang on, yeah, look, I've got the... Well, we'll do it on, do on the stream. Why? I'm on the... Oh, okay. Because you then can we can all want, see it. But I'm having a look on the actual... Labo. I don't think it'll be up yet. But I think they'll have put it up in preparation for this. Do you think... Labo, what, for pre-orders? Maybe. I, no, I don't think so. <clears throat> Actually, considering it's April, maybe, yeah. It's only January. Uh, it says age 6 plus, apparently. 6 plus? Oh, I thought 5. Yeah. Pimsy is right? Yeah, um, it's 70 quid. The starting price for Nintendo Labo is $70. I, I said that, didn't I? <gasps> I said that it would be about 75 quid. I was right, you were wrong. Ha, 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 and ha. Remus was saying that they could buy uh, Shadow of the Colossus and Dark Souls Remastered for the same I price. I think I did this wrong. I put Labo in, but it didn't come up. Well, it, you're doing it on the Nintendo gamepad. Yeah. Starting at $69.99. Ooh, that's, that's going to be a tough sell. Labo. Variety kit. So, you get five different Toy-Con projects. Does which it is... actually say what it... RC right, so that cars, one is. fishing Have a look rod, on the other one, then. piano, how motorbike, uh, house. Uh, how do I go? It's L1 to go back. And that comes with variety kit software. <clears> and you <throat> get the designs as well. How do you zoom in? There we go. 28 cardboard sheets. Includes extra sheet stickers. for... stickers, nice. Sponge sheet... Sh oh, it gives you the string and the eyelet sets. And the rubber bands. And the rubber bands, okay. It doesn't give you things like coloured pens and stickers, no. but okay. they couldn't really give you that anyway, could they? Because everybody has different... I like how it says mild cartoon violence. <laughs> Stay tuned for more updates. Um, robot kit. Let's go for the robot kit. Yeah, there we are. 79. So, oh. That's going to be a tough sell. I said, didn't I? I said 75. So what's the average of 70 and 79? 75. You owe me a fiver. That's going to be a tough sell. Although... I, I don't think it is at all. I think it's a really good thing. I think as soon as you have one out in a game shop, people yeah. are going to want to play it. So... All you need is a demonstration. Now, the problem I found with Nintendo products... Now, I don't know if it's the same with the Switch. Um, they don't demonstrate them. Uh, At least in UK shops. Zazpu says it's the same price as a Pro Controller. And, and I wanted to... This is why I love Nintendo. They don't recycle ideas. Unlike P Xbox and PS4, they have new features. So, okay. So the point of this is to do DIY stuff. Uh, build Toy-Con creation. Look, instructions. think about it this There's way. There's a motorbike game. Think about it this way, yeah? Yeah. How much is a Lego set? I have no idea. I know they're expensive, though. Exactly. If you're going to buy a Lego set for your kid, isn't this just the same? Oh, look at that. Uh, do you have one or more kids aged 6 to 12? Do you live near San Francisco or New York City? Would you like to attend a three-hour Nintendo Labo Studio hands-on event? Hmm. Oh, well. For anyone who lives in New York and San Francisco, that'd be a nice opportunity for you. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. What's the, what else we got? We've got the homepage. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think it's really innovative. It is. Not bad. And you know what? Yeah. There's a really big problem with getting women into science. I... Maybe this will help interest with young children. Hey, look, they've got um, stencil... Oh, it seems like you're gonna... Stop, you're making me feel sick. You can only zoom in twice. But they've got... Uh, Mario eyes, Peach eyes, Goomba eyes. You can buy them anyway. Don't... Cloud eyes, right, Bowser eyes. I'm not. I'm not trying to. Splatoon eyes, two link eyes. Interestingly enough. Right, guys, don't don't buy this stuff from. I'm I'm not. I'm sorry if there's somebody from Nintendo watching or whatever. I don't care. Um, don't buy this stuff from the website. Nine ninety nine for a sheet of stickers is bollocks. Well, you get two sets, but yeah. And what? How, like how a... much is a like a set of stickers? Like a quid. Is it? Look, do you want me to go on Amazon what, right with, now? With Nintendo designs. Oh, I'll have a look. Right. Amazon. Let's have a look. Hmm. Nintendo stickers. Is that what you want? Yeah, Nintendo stickers. That's fine. Um, your Lego set won't break when you lean on it, though. That's what Anna said about Nintendo this. stickers. This one, you get three sheets and four sheets, and it's five ninety nine. Okay. So that is on average right. one pound twenty five. Yeah. Okay. Fair um, enough. There's loads of stuff. Oh, they're really nice. What? Look, look at the Switch stickers. 
Um, I have seen people like yeah. customize their Switch dock with stuff like that. Don't but, buy yeah. it. Don't... There's no point. Not unless you want them specific. Those ones specifically. I really don't see the point. Um, Fruit Nut says they have to at least uh, something the game's features, or otherwise they're not going to make that many sales. It's a risk for the Switch's lifespan, in my opinion. I think I, don't know. I think the Amiibo were a risk, and uh, look at how well they've done. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be competing with normal games. I like, think it's a different market completely. This com I think this is like the Lego market, like I said. Yeah. Like this compared to the Nintendo Direct Mini that we saw the other day, mm -hmm. they're completely different. Also, I feel like this has got so much room to grow. Like these are just seven products. Can mm. you imagine it? You could do this with anything. You could do this with uh, a beekeeping game where you create a beehive. You could do this where you create cat toys and you play with a cat on nin Nintendo cats. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think. N Nintendo. Nintendo dogs. I know Nintendo dogs, but what's the, n n the cats one? Nintendo cats. Is it Nintendo cats? Yeah. Okay. Or Nintendo dogs cats version, something like that. See what I mean? Like you could you could create a microphone and sing into it. Mm. You could create a guitar and play with it. You could um, create some sort of I don't know candle making. All I right, so have no idea really. One Pot thing I wanna, you could do a pottery game. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, <laughs> that would be good. One thing I want to clear up. How would you pronounce this? Labo. Labo, not labo. Oh, it's probably Labo. Nintendo Lab, Nintendo Labo, or Nintendo Labo? It's probably because it's like a lab. Okay. Just, I, I would say Labo, though. But then that looks like Labo. You say Amiibo. I know. Labo. Amiibo. Labo. La Amiibo. Labo doesn't sound right, does it? Amiibo is because of two eyes. Amiibo. Labo is because it's a short one. But I think lab -o. it's... Labo. Laboratory. Yeah. Laboratory. Laboratory. Labo. Labo. Okay. Labo. Labo. I think Labo and Amiibo. That's going to get confusing. We might get we might get that wrong as well. No, I'm, I'm talking about people say, hey, I want a new Nintendo thing. Do you want the uh, Amiibo or the Labo? Or the Labo? The I, I'm like, what, what's the difference? Well, you can explain the difference, but... Amiibo's made of plastic, Labo's made of cardboard. But actually, Anna said, um, uh, I have a feeling that there'll be third parties selling this for metal, wood, and plastic versions. Um, Amazon and Etsy third parties. That could happen. This is going to be uh, an eight hundred percent markup because it'll cost like ten dollars to make. Um, it, that and they can mass produce that. Yeah, they're going to make too few intentionally to drive up the perceived demand. Yeah, mm. I don't think they'll make many. It's so easy to make though. I don't think they'll make many. Like the the Do market. You know what the biggest problem with it for me. Go on takes up so much shelf space. Yeah, it will. <laughs> it's a massive game. Well, not even that, just the the cardboard itself. No, I mean physically. Yeah. It's massive. I don't know if the game's massive, I've never played it. We've not really seen much of the content. They've really been showing Well, if we're bits. talking about the giant robot thing, then you need to have at least a bit of room to move around, don't you? How good would it be if they did like a digger one and you've got like scoop up and stuff? That would be pretty good. That would yeah, be really yeah. cool. Like that. Uh, so start wait. Like tractor just, simulator. Just wait until simulator. they start making Labo amiibos. And <gasps> oh my god! What? Animal Crossing on the Switch, and you have the tools. What do you mean? You have the shovel. Oh, and the butterfly net, and, and the, the fish. Fishing the fishing rod. rod's already there. Oh my god! Right, Nintendo, you can pay me um, royalties. Royalties <laughs> on that. Uh, thank you very much. I'll have um, fifth. 5p per sale. Thank you. 5p per sale until you pay us um, £100,000. <laughs> You'll probably get that quite quick. Yeah. That would be such... That is totally doable. They should do that. They, th Yeah, I mean... How many tools are there? There's no, there's no reason not to make, like... Um, God, that'd be so funny, a, catching something So let's say, <laughs> they've, they've already done the fishing rod, right? So there's yeah. no reason not to use the fishing rod for, like, other fishing minigames. Like, fishing simulator or... But um, then... Total would you, would you have to have all the different cardboard versions of the tools set up already, like the shovel, the butterfly net? Well, yeah, and then switch, and then between, switch them, between them, and then you'd have to do oh, the motion. Oh, that would be so. But what good. if the fish runs away or the butterfly flies away? Why are you trying to switch? That would be really funny. I'd love that. Yeah. You'd, God, you'd have to have so much space in your living room. I'd like sit in a semicircle with them all laid out around you. Yeah. Or uh, just have lots of different controllers. Yeah, I guess. Uh, 
You're lucky you're small streamers, otherwise Nintendo wouldn't allow your streams, by the way. What, because we're doing it live? Uh, oh, yeah, I think you have to, like... For big events, I think Twitch, like, makes exceptions on people rebroadcasting, rebroadcasting their, um, you know, gameplay well, and reaction, footage. And plus, we're yeah. advertising the product. Well, kind of, a little bit. And giving we... them brilliant ideas with, <laughs> with uh, no royalties. Uh, Nintendo is anti-streams of Nintendo games. Is this a Nintendo game? Because... Yes. It's more like a... No, it's literally a game for the Nintendo. It's more like a creative playset. You are using your imagination. Like a dynamic one. You're using your creation that you've made in conjunction with the digital software that they provided. Hmm. I love, I love how they're just assuming we're gonna get big. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Uh oh! Nintendo is anti streams of footage of anything, anything they own. Wow. Yeah. Or yeah. any music. Wow. Or any. Well, what's gonna happen is um, Nintendo is gonna do a um, what's it called? It's not the copyright strike, it's the smaller one. I thought Nintendo was going to go bankrupt a few years ago. I'm surprised yeah, they've no, made such a comeback. It wasn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. Basically, after this stream's finished, on YouTube, the video will be monetized by Nintendo themselves. But considering that YouTube said, hey, by the way, you need to have a thousand subscribers to be monetized anymore, not 500 or 100 or whatever, that doesn't actually matter for us anymore. So... What do you mean? Nin uh, YouTube released a thing yesterday saying that for channels to be monetized, you now need to have 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. We have 4,000 hours of watch time. We don't have 1,000 subscribers. No, but it said or. No, it said and. Oh, bullshit. Yeah. But halfway there. Yeah. Whoa, halfway there. We're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Yeah. Um, imagine if you have the cardboard tools, but they are AR skin, so they look like the real thing in the game. <laughs> yummy, yummy likes it. Um, but Anna says that I predict that the software will be barely interesting. <laughs> That's been my experience with all the novelty <laughs> accounts. That just make me laugh, it's funny. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that pretty much covers our reaction to Nintendo's new way to play stream. I yeah. will rename the stream to <laughs> Nintendo Labo Reaction Stream. <laughs> Rename it to Yami Makes 500 Accounts to get us 1,000 one <laughs> Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, but I think that's pretty much all we've got to talk about it for the How time being. How long it take to make 500? That would take forever. I have no... Well, it's bots accounts, so you can make, like, new ways to do it. But, hmm. but yeah, cool. All right, so... Um, I want these, by the way. We're going to get them. No, we're not. Yeah. $80, $70. Yeah, but by that time, we'll have hit it big and uh, it will be millions. This comes out in three months. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Well, we can't stream it at least because it's going to be all in person, so you need to have a webcam to show what you're doing. <laughs> so that's not going to work. Remus, what do you mean waste of money? What are you talking about? It's 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 high value uh, fiber board with um, <laughs> interesting design and an, a Japanese origami styling. Pimsy's being sarcastic for anyone who thinks that she's actually being serious. <laughs> uh, use the money for Shadow of the Colossus and Dark Souls instead. Oh, Dark Souls! We are going to be playing Dark Souls. Yeah. Putting that out. That there. comes out a month afterwards. I don't give a shit. I'm going to be doing that. The day it comes out, we're streaming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never played it, and I that's know. kind of what our channel started with isn't it it's Bloodborne the main thing we got souls. popular on on a like 100 odd dark souls videos we started yeah. on bloodborne that's the first thing we ever did yeah it was yeah mm. did you remember <laughs> when you took a video of my toes <laughs> yeah, yeah uh anna oh, says we believe in you that was um, in fact we've never done videos of real real life that was when i was wearing my onesie yeah and I it's was when like, we lived in a different place toes. don't show my toes we lived in a di completely different house <laughs> so um, Rima says, oh, wait about that. If I'm right, Rob's seen gameplay of Dark Souls, so shouldn't Pimsy play it? Well, we haven't decided who's going to play it. I've seen... Mainly because Rob's bitter because he's played the other ones and he's like, oh, eh. Well, no. It stops you from, like, um, getting all upset about not being able to kill enemies in the first time. Because I can do it. You've already said you prefer to play the game after I've done a playthrough so you can get the best ending. Then you know where all the enemy placements are, and you no, can play no, around no, with doing... No, because you tend to talk me through stuff. I just like to play it. I don't like to think. And you tell me, oh, go here, go here, go here. Okay, well... So, if, if you start now watching gameplay 
of a series all the way through, and then you'll be able to instruct me, ready for the... Oh, so you want me to play Dark Souls? And, like, coach you through it? No, because we don't own Dark Souls. Yeah, we do. I've got it on the PC. Play but it, then. I've never had a PC strong enough to play it. We do now. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> rip, that could be our chance to see you guys. What yeah. Do you mean? As in, see us in person, doing Nintendo Labo. Hey, you never know, actually. Maybe one day we will show video. It just, it depends on what career I'm going into. I've got a few careers at the moment on the go, so. <laughs> just a few careers on the go, don't, <laughs> yeah. Doing a few. Just it's juggling right. them a bit. I've got, I've got three. Three careers. Mm-hmm. So, don't I, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, before we say anything else incriminating about ourselves, uh, I think we're going to wrap up the stream because um, we're going to head to bed. It's quarter to 11 in the UK, so it's later for you guys in Europe and stuff like that. Um, yes. So we're going to have to message every single subscriber and make sure they're not yummy. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. <laughs> um, so, just to clear it up, Remus, I have played through the first few areas of Dark Souls, but I haven't gone through the whole game, obviously. I'll um, do it. I'll play it. Alright. Oh, but then again, I played... <sighs> what? See, this is the thing. Uh-huh. <sighs> this is why you were going to do it. It wasn't anything to do with me playing through it. It's oh, it's because you that... play all the other games, like Xenoblade and I've stuff like Xenoblade that. I've got Xenoblade 2, I've got Skyrim, I've got... Um... Yeah. What else have I got? Fairness. Zelda. Um, Fairness. I'm just being a pig at the moment, basically, and hogging everything. Hogging the Switch, playing Puyo Puyo Tetris, the demo version. I will get... Not, not even the full game, just I the demo. I will get so pissed off, though, if you do it without me. Um, you do not do it on Mondays. You have to agree to that now. Promise me. Dark Souls? Me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course not. I uh, will flip my Remus shit. says, let's let Rob do Shadow of the Colossus and Pimsy do Dark Souls. That's not a bad idea, actually. What? Sh I thought they were the same thing. Shadow of the Colossus is a PS2 game, but it's coming out on PS4 for quite what? cheap. Um, and it's all about, like, big, giant, colossal creatures. I like how Remus has decided that we're going to play five RPGs all at the same time. Dark Souls is not really an RPG. How hey, anyway. Whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. Yeah? That is an RPG. All right, fine. Okay. Right, so, what would that be? Neo, Skyrim, well, Zelda. Yes. We're technically still playing Final Fantasy. Um, right, okay. Dark Souls. Uh -huh. Um, Soul of the Colossus, or whatever it is. <laughs> what else is there? Um, Xenoblade 2. I don't, I don't know. Any There's anyway, shitloads. We're, we're, we're getting off track. We need to end this before that we... That would be like, one a day. Before we promise... Well, we could do one stream per day. But anyway, wait, wait, before we I... promise to things... I haven't beaten you at a game today. No. We beat the game. We beat Overcooked. That was our... We wrecked the game rather than each other. Whoa, Pimsy's, Pimsy's looking at me with big wide eyes and I don't know why. Mm. We're going to wrap up this stream because we've talked enough about Labo and we're talking about other stuff now. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, why did you stop Undertale? We because... didn't stop. We got bored. No, Pimsy got bored. I was enjoying it, but anyway. We'll, we'll come back to this kind of stuff later on at a different time. Oh, Remus says he doesn't like Skyrim. Do you like us playing it? That was your choice completely. Um, mm. But yeah. But other people enjoy it. Anyway. Anyway, we're getting off track. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the stream. If you haven't already, you can follow us on Twitch or subscribe to us on YouTube. We've passed over 500 subscribers, so woohoo. Woo yeah, there us. is a box coming out to one lucky subscriber. Mm -hmm. uh, check your messages, please. Yep. Um, we have sent a message out. If you don't respond by Friday, then we're going to have to move on to the next person mm -hmm. who we are almost positive will respond immediately. Yeah. Uh, we've got a Twitter you can follow us, at RiggyRob. I tend to use it to look up news and fan uh, art. And also um, a Discord channel, which is linked on our Twitch info page and also in our YouTube stream description. It's a really cool little channel. Sometimes we post pictures of our cats. Sometimes yeah. we chat. Uh, we even call people sometimes on it, don't we? Sometimes, if they're, you know, it depends on what we're doing. But mm. uh, yeah, feel free to check that out. The more people, the merrier. Um, check out so. our fan art on there as well. Yeah, it's really good. Cool. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you all next time. I love you. Bye.
Oh, <laughs> 